Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Winch here with Defenders USA and Dave Laird with DCS. Uh, Dynamic Combative Solutions, right? He's come out today. We're going to play on the range. So if you notice, here's the normal dot torture right here, right? The standard one you would see. And then if you look in close, here's another version of dot torture. I think they're like one inch or so, slightly bigger than one inch circles. It adds time. It adds uh, accuracy, pressure. It does all sorts of things. Now, I've shot this live on camera once or twice before, but the video just never worked out. So I haven't really done much with it. But today's the day we're going to try it out. By the way, I want to tell you who the idiot is who came up with this thing. Right there. So this is Dave Laird's, this is Dave Laird's drill, right? Fantastic shooter, and I'm joking when I say an idiot. He's a brother. Um, but uh, because he's going to make me work hard on this thing, well, I'm not very happy with them. So well, I mean, there's, there's logic behind this. Oh, there's absolute logic. There's logic behind this. So your original dot, dot torture is not under time, and it's a pretty good target size for three yards. And Ab and I have shot this quite a bit, and there's a lot of guys that use this. It's like the industry fun shoot. Standard, yeah. And it's exactly 50 rounds, so if all you had was one box of ammunition, then you get to practice a lot of different skills, reloads, one-handed shooting, left, right. Um, so there's a lot to enjoy about this target. and. But when you get to a level where you're mastering it, or even maybe before you're mastering it, and you want to improve on the a little bit more, that's what I came up with this. And so the way that this target is designed to be used is do it first without time, just like you do with dot torture. So you can really warm up and push your height overboard if you're using a red dot, that sort of stuff. Give you an opportunity to practice this nice and slow because it's the deliberate practice, the mechanics that you're trying to work through to myelinate that pathway to get you here more quickly. And if you're able to do this like this one, nice and tight, hits, doing it slow without time, the next way you can increase pressure is to do it under time standards. And the best scores that we've seen so far out of a total possible 50 was Mike Green did 46. Really? Okay. And, even, and even he said, you know, Dave, I hate you. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, I, it's a difficult I test. think when I shot this last, I got it. I think I got 44, 45. Yeah. And and you later changed the the last one, the timing for the for the nine and the ten. Yep. And I think made it even better. So we're here to test it in the new version of it. And well, we've, what, got, what? we've gotten a lot of critique from instructors that have tried it. They thought that sometimes are too generous. They thought that sometimes too were, hard. Yeah. were too hard. So we, you know, it's always adjusting and changing and getting better. You can yeah. download the most recent version from a website, like DCS. Yeah, it's not training. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run this first one, like he said, completely untimed. In fact, we're going to turn the camera around. It's going to be right between these targets, and we're just going to shoot our stuff. But we just want you to see this thing, and I think it's a really good cool because it works so much, uh, just the gun handling, the draw strokes, but working under pressure and time and tighter tolerances, which I think is a necessary component in a defensive use of a gun anyway, so it forces you to really focus on what you're doing. Yep. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on, around put on ears and we're going to get to going. So the very first one's going to be draw, put five rounds in five seconds, so we're not doing time. So now's a great time to just really work on clearing that garment, establishing a good grip, two hands on target, figure out your height over bore, deliver those rounds, um, one draw, five shots. You ready? I want to make a note. I'm on a slight angle and a slight hill that you're not, just, just so you know. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So right away you can see I shanked my first one low and adjusted my height and put them all center ass. Okay? Okay. All right, so next one is draw one, uh, one shot, and you have one and a half seconds, so you're going to do that five times. So it's, but we're not on the clock this time. We're not on the clock, okay. so it's going to be five draws and one shot each time. Okay, here we go. Oh, my hands are sweaty. Already. You notice my height over board is still kind of low. Okay. That should be what, 10 rounds? Yeah. So, I've got some left. I think I do too. All right, so we're going to draw one. One shot on three, one shot on four, 
And we're going to do that four, four times. times. Okay. okay. So this time we're doing a transition, right? Three, then we move to the four, and then we'll holster and do it again four times. So a total eight shots. Yep. <sighs> Ready. One go. All right, strong hand only, one draw, five shots, seven seconds. <sighs> Here we go. Yep. Dip and low. All right, draw one shot. Two shots. This should be two, two on the six. Two on the seven. Transition two on the seven. So. And a four times, so a total of 16 shots. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to throw another magazine in so I just don't have to change in the middle of it. That's a great idea. Tell you what, my hands are slick as can be. Week only, five rounds in five seconds. All right, five rounds, we can. The hateful eight. Yep. From the ready. Oh, I missed one final. All right, guys, just so you know, on this one, I finally missed one. Ah, I missed one. Everything else is in. That's my, it was my fourth shot. I let my dot get shaky. I didn't settle and watch it. And I just, I janked the trigger. Really what I did is I said, now, and I tried to capture it while the dot was still shaky versus pressing through and kind of timing the sights. And well, I missed a shot. Okay. Now you notice something about these targets. Nowhere does it say from concealment. No, you're right. Okay, so concealment is something you can try to add or not add, that sort of thing. It's up to you. Personally, I like to practice it from concealment because that's really how I carry every day. Yep. Um, so this next one you're going to find challenging because, you know, I end up grabbing my t-shirt sometimes on the reload. Okay, right, so this is a good time to practice the reload from concealment. Absolutely. Okay, so on this one, we're, it's gonna, we're going to do it three times. You're going to draw, fire one shot at the nine dot, do a empty gun reload, and fire one at the ten. So it's really a busy hand drill, a target transition drill, and making sure you can do all this pretty well and safely. And we'll restage it every time. So right now I have one in the gun with an empty magazine in my gun, and then a spare reload here. Yep. Coming on the suck. You ready? Oh. Now, again, practice is slow so you really get smooth movements and get on target. If this is sloppy, you're going to have to slow it down. So here we go. Okay, here we go. I didn't lock back. So, I identified it, I fixed it, but I would have never made the time stand. Okay. Let's see if this happens again. Let's do it again. Okay, one last time. Okay, so that concludes it for us. Let me top off, get completely loaded again. There. Let me give you a close-up of Dave's. So this is Dave's target. You can see that. And then let's bring it out just a little bit here. All right, so staying out of the camera view, this view as much as we can here, Dave. Let's see what we got here. So it's total 50 points. We have down one. 
I mean, you, you can be as critical as you want for yourself. This is again about you. So if you notice, I'm consistently low and center on all, and that has to do with my head over the board, my red dot. So we've got okay. one there. Okay, so we're down one here. I'd call that one there. Oh, it's gonna be no. a Oh, no, okay. Yeah, that green string's breaking the black. I know, and I and this is where like you can be as self-critical okay. as you want. So I'll, I'd ding myself okay. for that one. Ding yourself there. So you, no one can say I'm playing favorites. Okay. Two there. Two? Yeah, okay. So one, two. There's one there. One. There's one there. I already marked that one. Okay, that one's definitely out. There's, There's one. two definitely out right there. One, two. These ones are all kind of dancing on the line. Ah, uh, no, that's not. This one and this one is not. Notice the black right there. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, that's, that's bad enough that I'm not happy with it. So one, okay, two, so three, four, five, six. Are seven, we marking eight. those or not? Uh, you, you, I mean, there's three right there. So, but yeah, go ahead. Okay. Three. So one, four, five, two. Six. I think the third one is good, unless you don't. So, so I mean, I'd say twelve down right there. Okay, and that's not even counting time. Okay, so twelve down, so that would be thirty-eight, right? Yep. So are you going to put the date up? Yeah. That's Zero eight two three, three of two two. Yep. We're not worried about the time. Okay. So and we'll put Dave Lair. There you go. All right. Thirty out of thirty-eight out of fifty. Okay, that's pretty good shoot, my friend. Okay. So here's my target. I'm going to give you a close-up of mine. Just hold in for a second. Okay, so set this to where we're not in the way of the camera so you can see it. So there's one that's obviously down. Everything else everything else counts. Everything else is a line break. This is my fourth shot on my left handed, and again I explained what happened with it, but just so you see. Okay, so today is 0823 of 22, no time limit, and we're for, what 49? 49 out of 50. So 49 out of 50. Okay, so we'll put Adam. Okay, so this was the untimed test. And what I'm gonna do is because I wanna save this for later, I'm gonna pull this off. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Let me show you something here, guys. This is something important I want you guys to start doing and seeing. Uh, something to do is I want you, when you do something like this, I want you to list the date, your name, the score, who you're training under. In this case, is the DCS target. And you're gonna take a, a good picture of this and I want you to create on your phone an album. What I do is I have an album that says targets. And now I take those pictures of date timestamp targets that I took, the test, and if I trained under somebody, let's say I was training under Dave, right, as a student, I'm gonna put him as, as who I trained under, everything like that, and I'm gonna put in the album, and the idea is if something ever comes up with this, say 10 years down the road and I get in a defensive shooting, I'm gonna submit all of my targets of time test, uh, accuracy test, gun training, whatever it is, I'm gonna submit that to my attorney to decide whether that attorney, he or she, decides they wanna use in court. And understand, that can help in the court cases, whether it's criminal case, the civil case, whatever it may be, I would start encouraging you to start doing that on a regular basis, right? I have I have copies, digital copies of all of my training certificates, but I also do this with all my targets. Everything's date, time, stamp, my name, who I trained under, point scores, time scores, whatever else, and that's saved in there. Some have to show you kind of the, the catalog of, al of the album that I have, all the targets. There's hundreds in there, and it's to prove my training in the court of law if I ever need that. Okay. So, there you go, guys. Well, this is easy for you to look at and say, all right, here's what I need to work on. Because whatever it is you're doing over here will be more recognizable on this. Yeah, yeah. A lot more recognizable. So you can find this again at his website. It's dcs.training. Right at the bottom, you'll see where it says. Uh, it's a little tiny thing. Little tiny all thing the way at the DCS. bottom, it says I, I, targets. I purpose. It just says targets kind of hidden away. And it's one of like five or six of this. So I went to this and downloaded and printed off. And that's what we're doing today. All right, boys and girls, Adam Wincher of Defenders USA. Just wanted to show you this. I'm going to take pictures of this, put it in my album, like I told you from the beginning of this. Thank you for watching. If you want a really, really, really tough test, especially you really high-end gun guys and girls, I would tell you this is a good one to go try.